everyone, it's me Tammy and I'm here with a product review. The product that I'm going to review is by Maybelline and it is the Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot and the color that I have it in is Medium Deep which is 235. It says it's a concealer plus treatment with vitamin C. Instantly erases plus visibly diminishes the look of dark spots. And it says it's been clinically tested. Um, that's it. Nothing to, you know, elaborate on this. Now, what I use this for is under my eyes. I have done a, like, my natural skincare or my natural um, makeup look with this. I love this for under my eyes. I think it is absolutely amazing. It has a, like, a yellow undertone, so it's great for covering up the dark spots. Um, and it's so good because it... It's not really um, moist but it's not really dry either meaning it doesn't really get into fine lines and it's easy to spread under your eyes it's not like super cakey or it won't dry up in the corners because I've had that with some concealers and it doesn't seem to matter how much lotion you put on those concealers don't look good this always always looks good like I can apply a few layers of this because sometimes I go a little overboard um, and it still looks amazing and this stays on all day long 8, 9, 10, 11 hours later, it's still on and it looks perfect. It doesn't, like I said, doesn't get into creases, it doesn't fade, nothing like that. Um, now, I know this says for acne spots and, and other areas, this may work for some people. For me, it doesn't work. One, it's not a good color match for my face itself. It's great for under my eyes, but face itself, it just, it stands out too much because it's like a shade too light. Um, but I did actually try using it on my acne scars to see if it would do as good of a job on my acne scars as it does under my eyes. For me, since the third ingredient in this is dimethicone, which is a type of silicone which helps your skin stay mattified and it's like the main ingredient in a lot of primers. So it has like that slick feeling. Um, that item always makes me break up. So I should have known better than to use it. But I used it on an acne uh, or on a pimple and my pimple was so just angry. It was so, so mad. Like it got really irritated and I was just mad at myself for using it because the pimple was almost gone and it's like, I just, I made it worse. So for me, I wouldn't use this, especially if your skin is sensitive. Do not use this on pimples. It's no, your skin's not going to like you. Um... But overall, for under the eyes, I absolutely love this. The only downside to this concealer, like I said, is the fact that it has dimethicone, so you probably shouldn't use it on your face if you're sensitive to silicones. And the fact that there aren't a lot of colors. Like this medium deep, my opinion, is more like a medium color. It's not very deep at all. It's kind of, eh. Um, and I really don't like this spongy tip applicator. It's convenient to apply. But it kind of grosses me out that I can't clean it. Um, that's what it looks like. It has like a, I guess, you know what? It's more of a peachy undertone, which is so much better for under eyes. Yeah. So, overall, I love this concealer. Just don't use it on your face. That's all for now, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.